So we call this Tate's drill. So I need three white shirts and three blue shirts. Come with me here. So we're gonna have three white shirts standing right there in a line, facing this way, and three blue shirts standing right here. I need a coach at half court here and another coach at half court there. It could be a player, but we'll do coaches right now. And no one's gonna get hurt here. Now, we're trying to teach in transition D the most important thing is sprinting. It's so easy when we work on offense. Everybody, even big guys, love to sprint to offense. We call them fat rim rummers, whatever. We, but everyone loves that. I don't know why we don't love this. So the first thing we're doing is learning. Remember, white line? That's, it's, it's an imaginary thing, but okay. The first thing we're learning is load to the ball. In other words, get on the ball side. Next thing is inside the line of the ball. So I'm going to throw it. Let's say I throw it slow motion. I throw it to this coach over here. He's going to drive in three-quarter speed for a layup. One of you guys better get and stop the layup. So let's go slowly here. You guys are going wherever you want. So you're yelling ball. You guys got to get inside. Blue shirts inside the line of the ball. Call ball. Okay, and now he's got, if, he, if they took the layup away, you can throw it to anybody you want, and now you've got to close out. You don't have anybody. This guy's not in it. Where are you going to go? You better jump over there. You, you got it. There's some rotation involved, and usually in transition D. I wish it was so easy that you just ran back to Jane and, and June. That ain't how it is. So now we have to focus on three things in this drill. Most important. Load to the ball, sprint inside the line of the ball, and then holler out, if you don't know his name, which we don't sometimes, holler out ball or number, the number, and everybody else got to collect. Now normally, I'm not going to have the offense play offense right now, but normally we'd put six seconds on the clock. And I threw it to one of you guys. You drove in. On the skip, these guys got five or six seconds to get a clean shot up. And we gotta end it with a block out. All right, so this is Tate's drill. Here we go, we're right over here. You got it? I might throw it to him. I might, uh, blue shirts, you guys are great defenders. No, white's over here. Look, you're gonna be on defense. You're great defenders. You're gonna be loud, you're gonna be energetic. It's like nine at night now. Okay, and what's your goal when I pass the ball? No. First thing, load to the ball, because we don't mind if they skipped. Next thing, where are we going? Where are we going? We're sprinting inside that line of the ball. And then the moment he passes it to a white shirt, somebody at the top of their lungs, because we can't give something up in eight seconds, has got to yell, thank you. All right, you got it? No, 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 he, he's not in it. It's just you three playing three on three. One last time. Got it? I'll tell you, let's go four on four. Here we go, right over here. Blue shirt's much better that time. And coach, as soon as you make the pass, you're off. These guys got to play ball for five seconds. All right, no cheaties. Where's our fourth guy? We need a fourth white and a fourth blue. Please be loud. You, you have to enjoy sprinting. I'm gonna give you some drills, you'll get to shoot. Right now we're working on transition D. Oh, 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 oh! Perfect example of two guys closing out and talking and two guys being uncertain and your lack of communication costs us a bucket. 